and good morning everybody from the Philippines in Manila coming out here and I've been looking for like a local fresh like um, breakfast dish and one of their most in, like special ones is called Tapsi Lo now I, I don't know if I'm wrong so in the comments you guys can see if I'm wrong or not but Tapsi Lo is like rice it's like meat and it's like an egg so I'm trying to look for a restaurant that gives that um, vibe but I had my partner with me I don't know where he went to the, I can smell it where'd you go I was wondering where you went so we're gonna get some uh, some good Tapsi Lo and then hopefully we can find other di dishes at this restaurant but supposedly it's like five stars it's a local area I always see it busy so we're gonna walk out there and try to see if we can get some good food and some good breakfast. You send me for the money changer into this way. Money changers that way? That's right. Okay, so you want to go get money exchange first? Mm. Okay, so we're going to go get my buddy. We're going to get a money exchange. And then we are going to go get some tapsilo for me and try a local Filipino dish because all I've been eating over here, I'll be honest with you, I think the Philippines hands down has the best fried chicken I've ever tasted so far. And I don't think anything's going to be there from Jollibee to the restaurants I've been to fried chicken has been like the best over here so I can't wait to go and try some local food dishes around here so right now this is kind of the street it's a Sunday so it's really chill nothing too crazy right now um, it's not busy but at night this street alone it's right next to the Avenue is is pretty packed especially at 7-eleven because the snacks over here at 7-eleven is a whole different vibe like it's a whole different thing so if you guys want me to do like a 7-Eleven, um, I can definitely do a review on the 7-Elevens over here, but they have all the meats, they have food, they have everything you can think of. I mean, they got Korean restaurants, they got hummus restaurants, they got, um, I mean, they got everything. So once we get to that restaurant, I hope you guys are ready for a local Filipino dish. Inshallah, while these journey, you guys just started, let's go. Here, and then. Huh? <laughs> oh, you're on, wait, you don't want to be on camera. Electric cigarette. No, no, I don't do, I, I don't smoke, I don't smoke. I'm okay. No. Huh? Very important. No, 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 I don't need it. I don't need it. I have x-ray vision. You're good. Thank you. Nope, I'm, psych I'm Cyclops. I got this. But thank you. Thank you, brother. So, uh, when you walk around, they try to sell you electric cigarettes and shades. But, you know, I'm Cyclops, so I don't need them. But, you know, at least he's trying. Nice guy. Doesn't want to be on camera, so. If he doesn't want to be on camera, then I'm not buying. Just kidding. But it's all love. So now we got to find the money exchange. And I don't see the money exchange. It's an old barber shop. Oh, it, it was an open 24 hour money exchange, but it's not no more. It's yeah, it's closed. All right. And uh, the street looks pretty cool. They got LBC, they got all the restaurants. Is that Greek food right there? They even got Argos Greek food right there? Yeah, I think. And is that shawarma? <laughs> don't tell me they got shawarma. Let's see this. Yeah. All right. So coming out here, we might as uh, oh, it's a Mediterranean like pizza or whatever. So I mean, we might try it, but I feel like we're gonna no, it's just pizza. So I got I gotta have a good Filipino dish, so we can go down Avenue. You want to go down Avenue? We'll go down Avenue. All right, all right. Let's go. So we're gonna go down the Avenue. So the hardest thing is when you're traveling. The hardest thing for travelers is money exchange. So. For me, luckily the ATMs do work, but I highly recommend when you're traveling, uh, make sure you get like a card that doesn't charge you any fees and you can pull out the ATM. I'm from America, so for me, the Charles Schwab, the Schwab card is amazing. They'll charge you the fees, but at the end of the month, they pay you the fees back. So I would highly recommend getting a Charles Schwab checking banking account. Um, best thing I've ever had because I can pull out money with no issues everywhere. And they don't like put holds on it. That's what I love about it. So. We're gonna go down this street and try to get, oh, look at that, money changer 24 hours. This is the most smallest susses. This is sus, bro. Money exchanger, like I feel like, oh, mashallah, they have, they have, they have the writing, bro, I can't. Assalamu alaikum, yo, I'm, I'm trusting this one 100%. You even got a donation box? Oh, you know, I gotta throw down for the masjid. I'm gonna throw down, hold on. How much is the box? The one thing I love is seeing the, the masjid. So if I see the masjid, I'm gonna throw down on the masjid. Um, I I think it's always good to support mosques and other communities. So there's a donation box. Show the love to the masjid. Awesome. 
So my buddy's gonna get some money. But as we walk on the streets and uh, try to see the locals, you got money exchangers here. You got Baker Deli right there. I mean, the deli looks already awesome. You got the, this is the main street over here. They represent Bitcoin in the Philippines. So remember that, but as you can see, they have a lot of stuff over here. They got the dry cleaning and dry cleaning is super cheap. So I just love the fact that we get to connect with people and just, uh, just like, just the streets alone. Not everything is, is like, it's really like modernized. They cleaned up the streets. It's really nice. It's not like, it's a high end place to be in the Philippines. Like. I've, every every city has its bad and it's good, but so far the Philippines really stepped it up, especially like the BGC area. So as you guys can see, they have a lot of food corners and um, I might just go into the bakery deli. I might, I mean, we might as well check it out, right? They got pizza, they got local dishes and we'll see what they got. But for right now, I think for me, if I go in there, I'm gonna eat something and I really want like a local Filipino dish. So let's hold off and see if we can get some, uh, some local Filipino dish. You know where some good tapsilo? Tapsilo? Yeah. Tapsilo over there in the one. NT food corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Thank you. you I believe it. you. Thank you. So I guess we just asked and we're about to go get some uh, tapsilo. She said this food corner, so I'm gonna try it out. Why not? Yeah, this one right here. So you got the food corner right here and they got tapsilo. So I'm gonna try it one time just to see if it's actually good. But they said it's it's right here on the corner, so I'm gonna try it, see what it's like, and first local dish, some top silo. And I've never been here, so we're gonna check it out and see what they have. Hello, do you have do you have top silo? Yeah. Can I get can I get you want some top silo or you? What's top silo? Top silo is like uh, rice, egg, and like meat, right? Yeah. Oh, he's got a Kyrie Irving jersey. Okay, I see you. <laughs> Clean kitchen. The man got a Kyrie Irving jersey. That's the wrong jersey. You need to be a Warriors fan. Steph Curry. Okay. Everything is suspended. Yeah, he is. He is suspended. This is very true. Those jerseys are cheap now. So uh, we're gonna get. I'm gonna get top silo and then uh, it's beef, right? Okay. So I'm gonna get top silo and then what do you guys have to drink? It's uh, protein, magnolia protein. Which one's your favorite? Apple and uh, 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 available flavor apple and lemon. Okay. Let me get apple and lemon. And then what if my brother wants anything? Oh, okay. So it's like what we had yesterday. So beef yeah, mommy with noodles, yeah. They got butter chicken, they got creamy. What's your what's your best dish over here? You got topsy low, which is really good. Anything else you recommend? Yes, we have different Oh, you got different type? Okay. So I got the beef one, right? Yes, okay. This is our best seller. Tapsilo is your best seller. I'm gonna so it's, take you one tapsilo too. It's, it's beef, yeah? It's yeah, beef with beef. rice and an egg. Okay, one Trust me. One tapsilo too and one of this uh, strawberry. Strawberry one, yeah. Oh, we, do, we only have lemon and apple. Apple one, apple. Okay, sir. Say apple, yeah. So we're gonna get some tapsilo. So local Filipino dish, the good thing about it is you get to see the people cook it right in front of you. It's kind of great, clean kitchen, and everybody's super nice. And how long have you had this shop for, sir? You're the owner? No, sir. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. So this is this has been about two years, and and somebody told me about this place. They said it's really good. So, okay. They said the chef with the Kyrie Irving is good. They said don't let him cook. Yeah, that's it. Why suspended? Yeah, that's why. I think it should be him. They said it was him. It should have been you. So that's it. So we're gonna wait on some good uh, tapsilo, and it's gonna be rice. It's gonna be this, and then we got. Oh, it's healthy. Okay, so it says health tea, and it's apple. Yo. Spicy, sir. Uh, no, no, no spicy, no spicy. Uh, no. Spicy. Yeah, for him spicy, for me, no. Okay, so cheers on the apple. It's supposed to be healthy. Let's see. That is interesting. So, there isn't a lot of sugar in this. I'm looking at the sugar. It's literally nine grams of sugar, and it still tastes pretty good. Okay, that's the beef right there. And you got an open flame. It's actually uh, pretty decent. I've never had that kind of, it's, it's very refreshing for the morning. Yeah, it's it's like not too sugary. Yeah, yeah, a lot of water, I like that. So, we're gonna be eating real good. Um, anything else you recommend, sir? How much uh, is the top silo? It's 90, 95 pesos? 
Okay. Okay. Or she look is 95. Okay, and then what else? Do, let me see. Do you guys have like appetizers or something? No, I don't have. Let me see what you guys have. Salmon, all kinds of noodles, sir. Pancit noodles. You guys don't have a lumpia, huh? No, we don't. I can't find lumpia anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. And uh, so you just have. Okay, I guess we'll just stick with that right now. This one's uh, big servings. Big servings, okay. And I feel like also if this one, uh, two to four person for this person. Oh, two to four? Okay, for that one. So topsy low is good for one person. Yes, sir. Okay, good, good, good. Single is the chicken, is the butter chicken half, is that fried chicken? It's 14 pieces. Yes, 14 pieces? Yeah, there's no way we're having 14 pieces. What is it? 14 that's pieces a, of chicken. That's a half chicken. That's half a chicken, okay. That's and it's and it's fried chicken, right? Fried chicken. Okay. Butter. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. You want it? Fourteen pieces. Fourteen pieces. Fourteen uh, pieces for two hundred. Minimum fourteen pieces. Minimum fourteen. Okay. You want? Yeah. I don't think I can eat fourteen, but I can eat one or two. Forty thousand It's three hundred. <laughs> we got nine ninety-five for topsy low and ninety-five, so it's gonna be like less than five hundred. It's gonna be too much to eat. It's gonna be. Let's try the topsy low and then mm, see after yeah, that. Yeah. I don't want to be so, yesterday. We're gonna wait. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna go too crazy like we did the other day with the fried chicken. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna wait on the uh, topsy low. And then we're gonna see how good it is and we'll tell you our honest review. And I'm a little scared for the kid that's cooking it, Kyrie Irving. Really, really worried about this kid, but we're gonna try our best. What's your name? I'm JC. JC? Okay, Walid, nice to meet you. So it's always good. And your name, sir? Elmer. Elmer, and yours? You should be cooking. You look like you can cook, not him. You don't have, you have the right jersey on. So that's it. So we're gonna try the Topsy Low and see how it is. This is local street food, cooking it right now, fresh. And the kid is actually just made the egg. And we're gonna see what else he's gonna do. I think he has the beef ready. And, oh, look at that. He's got the fried egg ready. Look at that, I love it. Oh, and they got the light for me. Oh, they already cooked it. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is spicy for sure. Yeah, spicy. Yep. You could tell that's the spicy one with the red chilies. Everybody likes the vinegar. I feel like the vinegar is the local uh, dish. So they got rice, they got beef, um, and they got an egg. So all this together is supposed to be topsy low. So I'm really excited to try this dish. Uh, okay, so we gotta get a nice fork. Here we go. What's that in there? What's this, what's this, ketchup. hot sauce? Ketchup. Ketchup? Banana ketchup. Do, oh, banana ketchup. Do people use banana ketchup with this? Or egg. For egg. for egg, interesting. Okay, so I'll put a little banana ketchup on the egg. Yeah, this one, there you go. Vinegar. You can vinegar. put a little on for the beef. Oh, for the beef too? Yeah. This? No, no, the, the vinegar. Oh, vinegar. Yeah. Okay, everybody likes the vinegar, so the vinegar is really good on beef. I didn't know that. Oh, there we go. And I put a lot, but I'm okay with it. So, here you go. We got rice, we got egg, and we got beef. Tapsalo, bismillah. Let's try it out. So, the egg. Oh, when I hear somebody say mm next to me, I'm happy to hear that. I'm really happy to hear that. Here's the meat right here. Mm. Yo, the the top's the low. The you meat. You can also try to answer with the garlic, fried garlic. Or oh my god. So they have fried garlic right there as well this one's uh, chili garlic so. chili garlic so and then you have green onions yeah okay i'll try a little bit of green onions okay i'm gonna try your chili garlic yeah i'll definitely try the uh, uh, chili, homemade chili garlic homemade okay. chili garlic okay so we got a little bit of garlic as well pour that on the rice you can never go wrong with a little bit of garlic that's when you know when a man knows how to eat is when they got toppings like this so i'll be honest with you this was the dish that i was looking for for a local Filipino dish, and the meat is really done well. So I gotta admit, Kyrie Irving did a good job. <laughs> really good. Why suspended? Suspended, but working hard. I love it. Um, the meat is very tender. There's a lot of flavor in the meat. God, that's really good. Um, with the egg and the rice together, it just, it's really good. How do you, what do you think about it? It's fucking good. That's really, really good. Yeah. I'm very impressed by it the filipino dishes like the taste of the rice it tastes yep the rice the meat all together at once mm. man that meat is good i think so far filipino dish the fried chicken and the topsy low so far really really good mm. whatever they put look at how 
that meat is so tender you just don't know it until you try it um the egg is just an addition to the rice but and this banana ketchup has really changed the flavor for me i'm impressed i'm really impressed so try this one butter sauce what is this right here beef yeah. beef sauce what do i put this on on my whole dish so they gave me you can ship that one or you can also put that on your rice oh hell yeah so this looks like beef gravy i'm gonna put some on my rice i'll tell you right now this kind of reminds me back in hawaii it's called pares pares so we got pares and we're gonna put it in the rice and here we go oh yeah mm -hmm. that's the right call i wish you gave me that sooner with the meat that's really good wow mm. This gravy, this gravy really changes your rice. I can actually put a lot of that. I love gravy when it comes down to putting it. Mm. Wow. Really, really good. All right. So when you do the top silo, I highly recommend the chili garlic, the vinegar, and 100%, if you don't get this gravy, the beef gravy, you're missing out. This is really, really. Is it Mazarap? Mazarap. There you go, Mazarap. Don't tell him though, I told him that, okay? Talking to you, yes. Great job, <laughs> chef. Mmm, really, really good. Wow. That meat has a lot of flavor. Really, really good. It's not over today. I will guarantee hit up another spot after this. And we're, we have a lot of we have a lot to do today, but this is not the only spot. I gotta hit up like a local good like dessert place. I need to find like a good bakery. And then so far, this has been delicious. I'm very, very happy with the meat. This is like the morning, like morning hangover cure. <laughs> really good. I got a local Filipino dish. Now we're on the prowl for more dishes and we're gonna keep on continuing. So the total through all that with the most nicest people ever, uh, that came out to 230 pesos, which is less than, literally less than three bucks, which was two big meals, two juices. He gave us a bunch of gravy. And I mean, that was obviously like, very happy to try a local Filipino dish. And that was the right people to go to. It's not a fancy restaurant, it's a hole in the wall, but very, very impressed. So now we're off to go get a fried banana. And they say that this is like their d dessert special. So it's a fried banana with sugar on it. So we're gonna go get that right now and see if we can find, they told us it's on the right over here. So we're gonna hit the street up and then go down the street and see if we can find the fried banana spot. It's a little small shop, but we'll see. So they got, yo, what is this street, bro? This street is something else. A big street. So he said here and then make a right. Uh, unless I was wrong. Okay. Well, I don't see it here. But let me ask him where the fried banana is. If it's not this one. It's not Poblacion. I don't see the chicken. And, so they got chicken and beer. They got Haru. They got. Maybe we're in the wrong place. Hello, sir. Quick question. Where's the uh, place for the fried banana? The fried banana with the sugar? Fried banana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the street? Straight? No, in the street. And, and I don't know what street it is. The guy said it's around here, but I could be wrong. Sorry, sir, I didn't know. Okay, no worries. I'll definitely check it out. Okay, so I'll go ahead and navigate it. Maybe I can find um, a dessert place here for uh, a fried banana. Uh, they say it's a local banana dish, so I don't know if I messed up, but uh, let's see what it's called. It's a little stand is what he said Okay, so fried banana stand I don't see one local Okay, I don't see it. So maybe we went the wrong way So we're gonna go find this place and then I will turn back and see if we can go Maybe we, we should have went right on the next street like you said We'll go right left now and check that out. Okay, watch out for these cars. Always got to make sure you watch out but we have a lot in store for you guys. 
and I want to try, like I said, local street food. So here we are going out. It's a little humid in the beautiful Philippines, but I can't wait to go and try myself a fried banana. So we're on the way to go get a fried banana somewhere. Okay, so we are on the streets of the Philippines and it is, it kind of reminds you of like Pakistan. As you can see, the streets are wild. And the first thing I already found what I'm gonna eat is a fried banana. I haven't had one and I've always wanted to try one. Look at that, that was that fresh melon that we tried earlier. That look, that looks really good. I think, was that the drink we had earlier? But it's kind of good to see a fresh banana. And that's it, hello. Hi. Can I order one? one yeah, just one. Thank you. How many pesos? 25 pesos. 25 pesos? Okay. I only, I only want just one. I don't want like three. I know you put three of them. I can just take one. Take one. Yeah, just one. One, one banana is enough for one me. Piece. Yeah. If I eat three, I'm going to feel very heavy. Thank you. One piece. Uh, 10 pesos. 10 pesos? That's fine. Yep. So 10 pesos for a small banana. You want one, bro? Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to try that and see how good it is. I think, uh, let me get out the pesos. There's one, America. Yep. Trying to try some good food from here. I came here for the bananas, that's it. I'm going back home. Bananas, <laughs> potassium. That's all, that's all I came for, for a banana. That's it, that's all I flew for, thank you. Here you go, here you go. Thank you so much for your hard work. Take it, yeah, all good, no worries. Thank you. It's always good to see people working hard. Street food, I finally got it. Yes, vlogger. You want my card? I'll give you one of my cards. You'll be on, uh, you'll be on TV. There you go. Here's one of my cards. I'm gonna try your banana. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, so got myself the first thing I needed. I was excited. I got a banana in my hand and uh, it's fresh. It's probably hot as hell. So how you doing, brother? How you doing? Everybody in the Philippines, super nice. Um, they, they show a lot of love to bloggers, so it's kind of cool. And um, this is what I've been waiting for because usually, like in uh, this town, the street food is amazing and everything's like fried. And you eat like a king out here for, what was it? They started 10 pesos, 10 pesos, or 10 pesos was less than maybe, less than 25 cents, not even that. So we're just walking around seeing what else we can find. All right, I'm gonna try this uh, banana and see how good it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really good. And they got like a bunch of street food. Um, man, that is hot, excuse me. That is really hot. But you see all the streets, everybody's selling stuff, and we see everybody out here. Hold this banana, bro. Try some. Might as well try one, Habibi. Oh yeah, it's warm. Feels, it's really good. Oh, it's good. You can handle it. We've handled different. Yep. Yep. Very, very hot. It is good. Not too. Um, so the banana, bananas over here, they're not too uh, sweet. That's what I like about it. Like not too sweet at all. So. But no acid. No. Yep. It's it's really like not too sweet, and I love the fact that it's not like overwhelming with sugar. But this is really good. They put a little bit of sugar, but I probably asked them. They probably didn't want to put sugar, but look at look at all the streets. It's crazy out here. Mm. Food is amazing. I'm just eating this and we're walking around and there's a lot of people here. So we just got to be careful not to get in any accidents out here. Um, but very excited to try out, see what else they have. Out. And they're selling on the streets. You got all the little tuk-tuks. They even got fried chicken as usual. Probably the sellout. I'll be honest, the Philippines know how to cook their fried chicken. Whatever it is, the fried chicken's good. So we're looking for... What else are we looking for over here? Um, there was a potential mosque somewhere here that we wanted to kind of stop by, but we haven't found it yet. So let's see if we can find something uh, with a mosque. I didn't see the... Uh, did you see on the map for the, uh, the mosque? Look at this. Look at got the same. Yo, that's how cool. Call of Duty, they got bargains, t-shirts, that's it. Hey, how you guys doing, man? Everybody good? As you see, everybody in the Philippines are really nice. Hey, is there is there a, is there a mosque somewhere here? Hey, hey. All the way straight? Up right there. Straight to the left? Thank you. Thank you, brothers. You guys have a good day. Yep. So that's, it's, um, huh? 
I got you. Hold on, let me say, let me go to my, my man and give him a card just to show him some love. Always love the Filipino people, man. This is my first time in the Philippines. Everybody's been so nice, man. There you go, brother. I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you. Walid, you guys have a great day, man. Enjoy your day. Love you guys. Um, but as you see, hello. So as I, I love you, brother. He is such a nice group, man. The Philippines and you can get into so many things in this market and you can meet so many people around here and everybody's really nice I've heard like stories like you got to be careful you're gonna get pickpocketed this and that to be honest no one really messes with me especially when you're a tourist everybody shows you love man so no one really messes with you so we're gonna go around and see if we can find anything else but they got all this stuff over here while I eat this banana man mm. really good now they are serving out hot dogs. They got fresh peanuts. You have to try their um, the fresh peanuts. They're really good out here too. So let me see what else they have out here. Hopefully they don't have, they said the mosque is on the left, right? So we're gonna go to the mosque and see if we can find where the mosque is at. So this is like uh, partially like next door to like, uh, like Muslim town. They have like an area where I believe there's also like halal food too. So we're gonna check that out too. So I want to see where that's at. So we're going to go over there and we're going to see if we can find anything else around the area that we can check out. But I mean, you could already see the streets pretty active. What did they say? As you can see, they're all coming out. They already selling everything, man. Always good to see people always selling their stuff out here. And they all show love, but everybody's super nice. That's what I'm saying. Here's that card. There you go, brother. So as we go down they say that the muslim town is on that side so they're on the right side so we're gonna head out to the right side and check out more of like the halal areas they got halal food and i mean you can see they got a bunch of dim sum is really good over here uh they got a lot of electronics but it's it's crazy out here so we're gonna keep on oh my god she, she straight up hit him hard you gotta be careful all right so we're gonna go out to the right side and go to the uh we're gonna go to the right side and go to the muslim area and check that out as well but this is a straight market hunt today ladies and gentlemen it's crazy out here this is what i've been looking for and i'm very happy that we're here so we came out here man was like let's try some i gotta try the uh i want to try hello can i try can i try the uh oh which one's oh which one homemade pork that's pork yeah okay no pork uh, can I do chi chicken or beef? Beef. Okay, let me get the beef and let me get, do you have chicken as well? Do you have chicken? Uh, no. no chicken? Okay, I'll do five pieces of beef. Beef, beef, beef. beef, beef. Thank you. And it's always good to see like the local food. I mean, it looks good over here on this man. So we got some, we got some beef and there we go, 25. There you go, there's 40 right there. 25 each. And they're about to bring some good dim sum. I'll never say no to dim sum, so it's always good. Thank you. It's always good to see like dim sum on the street and then they give you a bunch of toppings. So I'm gonna get it five pieces. Give me the good five pieces. There we go. Can't say no to that. And then what kind of sauce is good? Not too spicy. There was this sauce right here. Oh yeah, okay, sauce. Put a little bit of sauce in this. There we go, we got a little bit of sauce. Chili oil. Chili oil. Oh, I, I, I'll do the garlic. garlic. It's not. That's the, that's the way to go. Is the garlic. You can't go wrong with the garlic all the time. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Some good dim sum. And uh, Bismillah. Where are you from? From America. Mm -hmm. That's really good. What kind of sauce is this? Wow. Like uh, teriyaki. That's the teriyaki yeah. sauce? Okay. Teriyaki sauce, dim sum, really good. The beef is delicious. I'm gonna feed my friend right over here, Habibi. Come on, baby, come on, enjoy. You're good. I know you're not gonna say, ah, yeah, yeah. Really good. When you come street food in the Philippines, they definitely know how to feed you. Mm. Really, really good. The garlic, the sauce, Mazarab. Mazarab. Really good. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you guys. You guys have a good day. Really good. That was that was actually delicious. Mm. 
So people selling on the street. We still got more food to check out and we got a lot more to check out for sure. And the traffic is crazy, insane. I swear this reminds me of Pakistan, it's great. I love this kind of vibe, just walking around and trying to get some food and just checking out everything. So we're gonna go closer to mosque and see what else we got out here. And hopefully we can find some more street food and everything. But right now it's pretty busy on this street. There we go. Wow. There's so much food and electronics that they're selling over here. It's crazy out here. Look at the watches. You got the watches for 130. How you doing, brother? How you doing? Everybody is really nice. You see, they're, they're really cool with the camera. I love that. I love that. Everybody is willing to say hi. But they also promote their business too, which is awesome. Smart genius tactics. All right, we're going to go to the next street and try to find... I think they said it's over here, so... Over here? I don't know. We got to find it somewhere. But we'll see. Sir, where's the where's the mosque at? The masjid? The mosque? mosque Muslim. Yeah, mos Muslim, yes. Over there. Straight ahead? No, no. You get, you take a, a beach over there. Then. So we can walk there? Yeah, you can. Okay, we'll walk over there. So Muslim town's over there. On the beach, yeah. Okay. Then downstairs. And then turn. Uh, left side, left side. Left side? Okay, yeah. over there. Okay, perfect. So it's all the way here. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So we gotta go over a bridge and then we'll go to Muslim Town. So we'll definitely check it out. I don't know if it's like a holiday and everybody's off, but y'all gotta, oh, they, this is crazy. Like, look how many people are on this street. You got all the street food, you got all the nuts, you got any type of dim sum. You got everything out here, but look at this. This is crazy to me. Yo, you don't see this on a Sunday. And you got a bunch of food, drinks, and just a lot of people, so it's always great. Now, we're crossing the bridge, and we will hit up another area. We ended up where we thought we would end up, and I'm already looking at the juices, and we got mango juice, black almond juice, the melon, the lemon, which that's a dragon fruit right there. You got the dragon fruit. So I'm not really sh So she didn't pay. Can I get, um, I'm gonna get the melon, I think. The melon is good. I'm gonna try the melon. Hello, can I get one cup of melon? Yeah. You want one? Okay. How much is it? Ten. Ten? Okay. So melon juice, as you can see, fresh melon juice. Twenty. So it's ten pesos. Ten. Five. Yeah, I think I got it. Hold on. Can you look at that? Is that 10? I don't know. I can't read it. So we got to make sure we have 10. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. 10 pesos. We're going to try that. I'm ready. Oh my god. That's so refreshing. Love it. Oh, dude. Try it out. I'm going to take one. You're going to take one? I think it's good. Yeah. You definitely got to try it. You like need this, especially when it's hot. That's actually really good. I'm pretty impressed. Oh wow, really, really good. And I think I see, I don't know if that's lumpia, but if I see lumpia, I'm gonna have some lumpia for sure. I don't know if that is, but they're cooking a lot of food. So I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm gonna try some right now. And they even have like the little jelly at the bottom. That's actually really good. Now we gotta try. That was really good. Oh. You have a garbage? Thank you. All right. I really want the not too sugary, right? So it's not sugary but it's not like too sweet, but it just hits the spot because there isn't a lot of sugar. And I think there's a little coconut at the bottom of it. You can tell from the coconut, really good. So I wanna see what else they have over here. But they got a lot of food, man. There's so much to do, there's so much to eat, there's so much to drink. So it's always good to see like just all the good food. I want, I actually want like lumpia real bad, but I haven't found the lumpia yet. I'll definitely do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna try that for sure. I wonder if it is what it is. Here, that's for you. You'll be on YouTube soon. Okay? Is that is that lumpia? 
That's lumpia? Is it chicken or beef? It's not pork, right? Cheese. Cheese? Oh, it's cheese. Okay. Hello, sir. Is the lumpia, is there just... Is it just... Is, Oh, vegetable? Oh, hell yeah. How many, can I can I get one vegetable? Can I get one vegetable? <laughs> so, so it's a vegetable one, and uh, I definitely gotta try a vegetable one. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. How much? How much is it? Twelve pesos. Okay. 12 pesos. So that's an egg roll though. There is no lumpia over there, so I didn't know. So we're gonna try some of that. 12 pesos just to get a small amount. Just gotta look for some change. I don't think I have change, so I have to look. Let me look for it. So it costs about 12, so I gave him 100 and they got a little frustrated because they're like, why are you gonna give us 100 over uh, 12 pesos, you should order more. But I just wanted one vegetable uh, egg roll and then uh, let's try it out, see how it is. I'm gonna try it in the cup. Oh yeah. So, mm -mm -mm. There you go. Really good for a vegetable egg roll. I, it's actually really hot. I almost burned myself, but the flavor to the, like, it's not like, so a lot of food over here, it's not like too salty, but the good thing is it's not overwhelming to your stomach where you can eat more, which is awesome. So that was, that vegetable, oh, there's the moss right there. Oh no, that's not the moss over there. Okay, you know which way we're going. Wow. Overall, best egg roll I've had so far. Now we're kind of lost and we're gonna go look for the uh, magia. Thank you so much. And now we're off to the next races. And we're gonna keep on walking and we're almost there to the mosque, but this egg roll was actually really good. I was actually pretty happy that we got this. I asked them for lumpia, but they gave me an egg roll. I don't think it was lumpia that they had. So we're gonna go and check out a couple other things, but there's a lot over here as you can see, it's still packed. The streets are uh, just selling everything. So we're almost there at the, uh, we're almost there at the mosque. So once we get there, I'll definitely see if there's any other good halal food we can try. I, I know what we just saw and we saw Oreo red velvet cheesecake. I'm definitely gonna go and try some cheesecake. I know you want some too, bro. Oh bro. That's what I'm saying. Hello, how you doing? Can I get uh, one order of the uh, the boba? Oh, which one's your favorite? Uh, this are the same. Oreo cheesecake, top one the same. I was looking at the Oreo or the red velvet cheesecake. Are those both good? Yes. Okay, so let's do the red velvet cheesecake. Um, I don't want any sugar, okay? No what sugar. Size? Uh, let's go with the uh, small I sound. Medium. Yep. One medium red velvet. Yep. That's it. You guys have a garbage can? Where's the... Do you have a garbage? Garbage? I can throw that away, thank you. Awesome. So they have all the milk tea. I'm gonna get the red velvet. I'm never gonna say no when I see Oreo or red velvet. Today I skipped on an Oreo and tried the red velvet. So let's see what it's like. How much is it, sir? 160. 160 for a small red velvet. And uh, the man is legendary, gonna make it. So I'm gonna give him five, and let's see. He's about to make it right now, and then we're gonna see how good it really is. And I'll tell you guys the taste test on the red velvet, but the man's making it right in front of you, makes it fresh. It's just it's just one. You you made two? Yes. Oh, I just want one. one, one yeah, one more. One red velvet, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is it for one red velvet? 80. 80, okay. Okay, so for some reason he's gonna make two. So give me one second, I'll be right back. A little confused because I'm looking at the picture right now. This is what the red velvet looks like, right? This is what I got. They don't look the same. But
Thank you. Are you a blogger, chef? Yes, sir. Can I take selfie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. There we go. We got a man. There you go, man. Want to take a selfie? Everybody's so nice. Everybody's so kind. Here you go, brother. There's my card right there. There's four. Four twenty. Yep. Perfect. I appreciate it. And we finally got some uh, official boba tea, but it was the red velvet cheesecake one. Um, Got to check out the flavor and see what it's like. All right, we're off to the next. And we're mixing this up. I messed up. I should have shook it. But here we go. I can't even get anything out of it. Bro, it's not coming out. What, what is this contraption? Hold on. Am I, am I being tricked here? All right, hold on. I'm, I think I'm being tricked here. Hold on. Pretty good. No sugar, awesome. Tastes delicious, really good. All right, off to the next one while we walk around. Isn't that cool to have a Dragon Ball Z seat on your motorcycle? I love that. All right, and we're off to the mosque. Had to grab some of boba. Whenever I see it, I, I've been addicted. I'm gonna try every one of them before I leave to the Philippines. We, we finally made it. Oh, we got a street barber just cutting hair with a blade. I've never seen that. So we are officially in a Muslim town. And you can see like all, first of all, the mosque. And then everything over here is halal. And watch out for the car. There we go, wrong way. I thought you were making me push me the other way. I, I grabbed you. Yeah, I thought you, I was about to fall. No. <laughs> well, this is a Muslim town, so it's very beautiful. Uh, they have a mosque and they're building stuff over here. But it's kind of cool because everything out here is like very fresh and uh, halal food. So it's always good to see like the, um, the fried food and everything is halal. So um, very, very nice. I guess we'll go down there and check out more of the market. But look at a beautiful mosque, man. It's really beautiful. That's what I'm saying. Hi. So that is their beautiful mosque out here. And then this is all of the center of all halal town. So it's always good to see like um some restaurants and maybe some sweets you can buy along the way there was a man shaving that guy's head with a razor I single blade i've never seen that and he was going 100 miles per hour and yep I, i've never seen that in my life so we're gonna go check it out see what else they have and um just walk down this street and this is all like uh, the muslim town so i want to buy maybe a potential gift for like my family um before i do get out of here and uh, off the philippines but i'm here for a while so so far, this was probably, I'd say this was like the best experience of just the street food. I have a bunch of like stuff you can buy. Um, I need a garbage can, there it is. So the, you know, as I started drinking that boba, I did no sugar and it kind of messed up the flavor to the, to the boba tea. But here's the streets of what you see in, uh, I'm guessing the Muslim town. So I wonder if they had like Muslims, uh, they had like some sweets or some sugars or stuff like that where we could buy. They even got fried chicken on the street. They got fish. As you can see, fresh fish just caught up. All, that's insane. And then you see all the flavors of, I mean, this look at that. So good. Yo, you already know that chicken is probably, <laughs> is, is probably super awesome, you know? Really good, you can smell the flavor of that. When they make the chicken out here, it's no joke. So far, every place that we've been to, the chicken has been amazing. And you see everybody just selling everything and it's just been a great vibe so far. Um, so we'll see if there's anything else we can definitely buy. Maybe um, something we can eat and something we can drink up because that boba tea kind of killed the flavor to my body. So we'll check out something else and see what else we find. And I could see like the flavors of like the chicken. They cook everything out here. Um, and you could see they have all the meat out here. That's chicken, they have a bunch of other stuff. So we'll check it out and see what else they have. Was that was that all of the uh, the Muslim town or I think all, oh okay Ramadan Mubarak oh awesome oh so that's the outside so should we just keep on looping around or should we go that way do they have a do they have a they have maybe some sweets for us we can have like a like a baklava or something that would be awesome yeah so we're gonna check and see if we see anywhere we can get some like some sweets oh they even got uh, Mezban Food Express which is like a uh, halal uh, Euro place which is awesome, they have that. So we're gonna check out and see what else they have, if they have any sweets for us. 
I love like, I love this because it's so calm and peaceful over here and you can buy a bunch of clothes and no one really like gives you a hard time. How you doing brother? Boom. So it's always good to see the kids and just interacting and everything. There you go man, fresh, fresh, mashallah. So these kids man, they're, they're, they're the future. So it's always good to see them and awesome place. <laughs> and the man's just walking around and the kids, everybody's so nice and everything. Muslim. You're Muslim? Oh, salam alaikum. It's awesome to hear that. What's your name? My name is Walid. Yours? Najib. 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 Salam. Salam, Najib. It's always good to see that. Najib and you? Your name? What is it? Abdul. 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 Awesome. And it's always good to see like these kids and everything. And, and he got the Miami jersey on. He's got the uh, mosque jersey on. Mashallah, it's always good to see these kids and they're all smiling and very happy, you know? You're, oh, you, dude, you're, you got the cool jersey right there, the mosque. You play for basketball? Oh, that's awesome. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Salam, salam, salam. Yeah, it's always good to see all these kids, man. Oh, it's awesome. And hey, buddy, how you doing? And these are the future, man. It's always good to see them. They're happy, they're smiling. So we ended up going outside to check out the church and this is what's the crazy part. So they recite it on a big screen but because there's no room in the church you have everybody standing outside right now and everybody stands outside and just does the church and as you can see it's they're doing it but you see everybody literally standing outside because there isn't enough room. But uh, we want to go inside the church but I think the church um, it's already being taken with too many people and we can't go inside. But, um, but I mean, overall, beautiful church, really nice. And, uh, and uh, what else do we got? We got, I mean, it's really nice. I wish we can go inside just to check it out, but unfortunately, due to, they're actually, everyone taking church right now, um, we can't go in. But I want you guys to know, man, I hope you guys love this vlog. This was a wild day starting from eating, from traveling, from doing everything to Muslim town to all the food. I want you guys to know I love you guys. And while he's journey, remember to live your dream to the fullest because tomorrow is never promised. And you guys got to remember that. So you guys have a wonderful day. Inshallah, while he's journey over now, I hope you guys are ready for the next journey. Peace.